oh my god we think that we should date that person if they want to have friends with benefits if you were the one who broke up girl two years is enough guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a boy talk slash girl talk because there was also a question here about boys and girls but basically i'm gonna give you like my advice on relationships and boys and stuff um yeah i asked you on instagram to ask me your issues and i'm gonna try to be the best big sister slash little sister that i can be grab a snack this is going to be a long one the first question is I've never dated and everyone around me is dating. I feel bad and like I will never conquer a boyfriend. What should I do? A lot of people are in this position, okay? I feel like people my age, for example, that haven't dated yet, it's either because of two reasons. It might be because you've just never found someone that really caught your attention. Just like girls can be stupid sometimes, there are a lot of stupid boys, especially at our age that have no idea of what they're doing to their lives and that's not attracting obviously especially if you're a little bit more mature or the other reason that might cause you to not be dating or never have dated is because you have some type of insecurity or you just don't see that yourself in that way because of something that makes you insecure and so you don't put yourself in an environment where that could happen or you never understand when someone has like second intentions with you so you just don't attract that because you think that in your head it will never happen to you my advice is to just get to know yourself spend a lot of time putting yourself in environments where you can meet cool people whether it be friends girlfriends boyfriends whatever don't be afraid to like start communicating with people and get to know them because if you put in your head that that can happen to you it doesn't mean that you will just get a boyfriend because certainly every guy is an option but it will mean that when you meet someone that's really interesting your bo your brain will be like oh this could actually turn into something else but if you're always like oh i'm not worthy of that then you won't be attracting that and people won't be attracted to that either so keep doing your thing stick to yourself and just be passionate about living and about yourself and it will eventually happen because it happens to everyone enjoy every stage of your life and enjoy what you are having right now instead of only wanting the future and what might come. In life, we have to learn to enjoy and value and take advantage of every stage. Next question. I broke up with someone who I dated for two years. Even though I got my back and I know it's not the end of the world, I still feel like it is. I can't help but feel miserable. Any tips? So, I've never been in such a long relationship. I'm currently dating, I've been dating for about 10 months now, which is almost a year. Well, that's crazy to me. When you break up with someone, it doesn't really matter if you were the one who broke up or if you're the one who've been broken up with, you'll feel sad. When you date someone, they're not just your boyfriend, they probably turn into your best friend as well. And so, when you lose that person, you kind of have to back yourself I feel you when you say that you know it's not the end of the world you're and you're mature enough to know that but you also can't help but just feel really bad and I would say take a couple days to just feel what you're feeling cry and some ice cream if you want to and then after those days don't let it last too long get yourself together and even if you're still feeling miserable it's time to get back on and do what you need to do do things that maybe you didn't wouldn't do as much when you were in the relationship it's no problem to have a few days of self-pity but then pretend that you're not yourself and be like your alter ego saying like okay maya i know that you're sad but now you're gonna get your ass out of that couch and you're gonna do this and that and you're gonna have busy days time will pass by if and you won't realize it and then you'll regret what you're doing learn read paint journal go on walks work out do a bunch of stuff for yourself and then also connect with the people that are important to you time is the big healer with time you'll start to get new habits and he will eventually start getting out of your head but that's gonna be a natural process and, and there's nothing really that you can do to make that happen. You just have to let time flow. I have a girl that said, 
I met a girl at a party and we got along really well, but then later I met a boy during a get together and they both told me that they liked me and I'm lost. I don't know what to do and I don't want to hurt them. So with what I saw here, I think that what's happening is you have two people that are interested in you and you're also kind of interested in both of them, but you don't really are in love with any of them, but you don't know what you should do because you're nice people. They also think that you're nice, but what I assume with this message is that you don't really want anything with either of them. I've been in a situation in like ninth grade or something where I had like two people that I was interested in or that sounded interesting and that I was talking to and I also felt like both of those boys like were also starting to like me and I remember I told that to my friend and he told me something that stuck to my mind it's the simplest most logical thing that he could have said to me but it's really true which was if you really like the first guy that you started talking to you wouldn't question the second one so you either like the second one or or you don't like any because if you really liked one of them you would know which one you like i think we definitely have phases and where when we're a little bit more immature we like the idea of having a boyfriend and dating and just having someone and that might lead us to take advantage of opportunities that just come to us because if we see that someone likes us and if we want to have a boyfriend then we think that we should date that person which is not true and if you don't like any of them tell them that you're not into them as much as they're into you and so if you tell them that you'll they'll feel like they can trust you and so you'll maybe earn two friends so who knows the three of you are just having that same idea but none of you is really in love and you can just hang out tell them what you feel and what you think be super honest and nothing wrong can really happen out of that. Another question, uh, a girl said, a boy who wants to be friends with benefits, but I want more and it's been on and off for two years. Oh my God. I always tell my friends that I, as long as they're not disrespecting them, themselves and others, they can do whatever makes them happy. If they wanna have friends with benefits and if they know what they're getting into and they know what they wanna get out of the situations, then just do it. But here what's happening is he wants something, you want more than that. And because you like him, you keep going into him because that's the only thing that you can have. So you will rather have a little bit of that than have nothing. But what I think you should do is either speak to him and tell them or if you don't want to do that just distance yourself when two people don't want the same then sometimes it's better to distance yourself and to have nothing than to just have a little bit because that can hurt you a lot more girl two years is enough i'm telling you i'm filming this video and i'm telling you distance yourself he probably has no idea that you want more so he's not even like like does this threaten you he just thinks that you're both on the same page when you're not distance yourself honestly how can you tell if you love someone i feel like when you ask this question there's a big chance of you not really loving the person that you're talking to because if you did you wouldn't ask yourself that when you have a crush and when you really like someone in the beginning it can feel like it's the same thing but you can see a difference when with time one of the feelings will start to fade away and the other feeling will um, stay with you. Even when we like someone and we're dating, there will be phases where you feel something more intense and there will be phases where you just want to care for that person. And even if you love someone, you won't be like super in love like in movies, like 100% of the time, but you will always want to be around that person. You'll always smile when you're around that person. The next person asked, I'm afraid the guy that I'm talking to won't like me if I'm not wearing makeup. When you really like someone, it won't really matter if that person's showing up with greasy hair on your dad's sweatshirt or if they're in the prom dress. Obviously, there's certain images that will sound more appealing, but you'll just want to be goofy with that person and to feel comfortable. When you're dating, that person will probably will probably not just see you with and without makeup, but will see you happy, will see you sad, he will see you stressed, crying, laughing, everything, and that is vulnerability. So, if you're afraid that a guy won't like you because you're wearing you're not wearing makeup, it's either because of two things. First one, he was a jerk and made you feel like you wouldn't like him if you weren't wearing makeup. Or it's coming from you and from insecurities that you have within yourself. 
and if that's the case he could be the nicest guy on earth and you're just like self-conscious thinking oh he might not like me without makeup when he never showed signs of being that type of person if it's coming from you i would suggest spending time with yourself figuring out that issue and maybe it's because you wear makeup like every day to school or something so people are used to seeing you without makeup so my suggestion is start having like one day with makeup one day without makeup for example so that other people and yourself get used to your bare face and you don't feel bad when you're not wearing makeup because it's really easy when we start wearing makeup to feel like we then want to look like that every day and so it starts to be like a vicious cycle so that's why a lot of the times I don't promote wearing makeup every day because then you get used to that and when you're not wearing makeup you don't feel good I feel like makeup is a huge compliment but it's something that adds up it shouldn't be something that's necessary so yeah work that with yourself you can also work that with the other person if something happens between you two but know that it's coming from you and that you are the only one who has power to change it and yeah just know what type of relationship you want to be in if you want to be with someone who you want to be vulnerable around and feel comfortable and safe then obviously you should not date someone that will make you feel bad when you're not wearing makeup okay last question that i'm gonna answer is when those hoes only make an effort at first then they think they got you and take you for granted there are a lot of immature boys out there that have no idea what they want what they are doing with their lives what is important to them what they should do and so they might think you're cool and show a lot of interest and then they'll just get into another person or just lose the interest because they don't really think about what they're doing they're just going with the flow and they don't know themselves enough this personally i don't think it ever happened to me again if you want a relationship relationships take a lot of effort and time and after like two weeks two months two years you still have to make that person feel special you still have to, to nurture and to treat that person and to constantly be nurturing the relationship and spoiling the, pe the person so if someone even before you're together stops doing these little gestures that are so important then i don't think they have the maturity to handle like a relationship when we're young things lose their magic really quickly because we don't really know how to treat them and how to make them grow if that happened to me i know that it wouldn't be easy for me to at the beginning see what type of person they are so as soon as i start seeing signs of things changing i would like try that person and tell them hey look you used to be like this and do that and now i know that you're not doing that anymore and that's making me lose interest obviously so you might not be conscious of it so if you want to change that then do it but if you were just like oh i need to conquer her and now that i have her like i don't care and if you're conscious of what you're doing then i just don't want to be with you and yeah these were all of the questions that i'm going to answer for today i really hope you liked the video i hope that it was useful and that you can make a good decision based on what i told you but yeah comment down below if you want more videos like this i definitely like giving advice but yeah i'll see you guys on my next video give this a thumbs up and subscribe and yeah bye